Okay guys, the uh, MPPT is hooked up, batteries are hooked back up, we're sitting at 13.16, now we're going to throw the switch and this will be the first time and hopefully it says we have solar, 26.8 amps coming in momentarily, holy shit. It's dropping it down. So now I can turn some lights on. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So I don't need my crap lights or my portable. I gotta charge a bunch of these up because I've been uh, living off of these for a while. My fridge has just kicked in. Uh, 13 volts I'm gonna go into the menus a bit set temperature battery protection high activated set temperature let's set it to cold 36 Fahrenheit sounds like a plan to me so it's on, it's running. I'm gonna throw my waters in that I brought over and I'll be back in two seconds. Alrighty guys, let's take a look, see what we're bringing in. A whopping 29.22 amp hours. I've never brought in so much power in my life. Fridge is running, cooling that water down. Um, I have all my loads on. It says we're sitting at 12.5 over here, but that's because I have all this stuff under load in inside and outside this cabinet. I'm recharging practically all my lithium power packs plus some uh, AAA batteries. And uh, I plugged the fuses back in um, in order to do so because I want to have backup just in case we have another failure of any kind. Um, but with that many amps coming in, I am in awe and shock. And actually, I have to charge up my radio because it is El Puchoed right now. No juice. So, he will be charging up. Now, um, I ordered some stuff from Wish, guys. And you guys know me and Wish have a little thing going on. Well, I'm telling you right now, guys, now is the best time to get on Wish and order anything you want. Stay away from the express delivery. If you're patient and you like getting free stuff, order from Wish. I'm, I'm going to make my bed and tell you why. Now, um, the reasons are many. Free is good. And plus, it's coming from direct, for, direct from China, guys. So the nice thing about that is you're ripping off the people that screwed us with this COVID crap, the Kung Flu virus. So you can dominate China financially by getting a bunch of free stuff from Wish that you probably need and want, and sticking it to the commie bastards who screwed us with this virus. Since our politicians aren't stepping up, we're going to have to fix that, and we're going to have to do it on our own. So that's what we are we are currently doing. Now, i got to find out where the fuck my bed sheet went, because what the hell? Where are my bed sheets, y'all? pretty fake if you ask me anyways um i'm gonna make a video guys of how to do uh how to get whatever you want on wish so stay tuned for that i've gotten thousands of dollars worth of stuff for free because their policy and it's i'm not stealing or anything guys it's their dumb policy on wish 
and it's amazing. There's a massive loophole in the policy, and you're going to take advantage. It's not even a loophole. It's just they're not delivering on time because of the COVID. They had a hard time delivering even when there wasn't any COVID going on. So that's what you get. I have a bed sheet here, maybe. Yeah, this must be it. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, take full advantage, guys. I ordered, uh, in particular, I ordered a similar master switch to this one, except it it's only going to be running my entertainment for overnight at the off-grid tiny house. So it's going to have an on-off switch. It's built in, actually. It has an inline fuse built in. It has a voltmeter built in. It has a 12-volt female cigarette socket. And then it also has, now they're not they're not high charge, uh, it's a USB 2.0 uh, USB sockets on the other end. And that's perfect because the 2.0 is what I use for my Android box, my media player. The female socket is for my 12-volt TV. And then the voltmeter just tells me how I'm doing over the, over the usage period. And the other one I can hook whatever into. Oh, my uh, sound bar has a trickle charge. So it works out perfect. It's everything I need in one. I'm going to have to drill a new hole, though, and do that. But that's fine and do some wiring. But it's coming. I also ordered a wart chiller stainless steel tubing. And what I'm going to do with that is use it on the barrel stove. And we're going to rig up some kind of boiler system, hopefully. And hopefully that all turns out well. And we can try that out. Um, what else? Uh, rad system, anyway. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, some wiring connectors for wiring in the future. Needed some more of those, so I'm going to try those out. And on and on and on. So all is good. I'm going to get making the bed. I'll get back to you. Guys, Rob from the Off-Grid Tiny House. Got some markers. My dad was just here. Um, everything is still running. Um, I'm going to go give you a quick over overview. Fridge is still cooling. I got my drill battery charging. I got my jump pack charging. Dyson is charging. Lights are on. We're bringing in a whopping 33.71 amps into my 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries and I have pretty much everything on except some fans which I'm going to turn on and I actually do plan on let's turn these fans on well I got so many loads running over here our voltage has dropped to lemonade um, I'm gonna just shut the TV off because there's no point in me watching that because I'm not watching anything <laughs> I'm just working um, like I said before all my lithium power packs and batteries are charging um, fans are on um, I'm gonna turn this fan on I think I have it on a switch or do I oh yeah the switch is up above so we're gonna try that out right now it's actually warming up outside again so that's going to be um, um, uh, going to be fun. But the nice thing is, guys, check this out. Oh fuck! I have my arm in the blade area when I turn it on. <laughs> I'm just on a little stool. I didn't get the full-on ladder. There we go. Sweetness. So I got one above the bed and two further down. This window I had to keep open because you can see there's water in there and I'm trying to dry that out. Now, one thing I gotta mention guys, remember the flood I had? Well, I got a shit ton of stuff to wash and I'm gonna use the new solar panels and set up to do the off-grid washing machine back here via the Panda. So I gotta clear off a bunch of stuff but these towels and these mats are gonna be going in the wash. And as that does that, it's gonna help clean my shower off as well. So that's sweet. Oh, and I bought some new bounty and toilet paper. 
just in case. Oh, these fans are still running too. Um, I've had them swapped out for three days straight. I just swapped the battery pack out. These two fans are still running, drying any possible moisture back there. And I don't think I have too much of an issue to worry about um, with that in that regard. So we're gonna do that. And I'll probably end up mopping the floor, running a little fire, and then later, guys, because I'm bringing in, once, once most of my loads are damped down, later, guess what's gonna be hooked up to run off the grid? This guy right here. 5,000 BTU Arctic King air conditioner. And I'm gonna see if I can get it in this window, actually. And because why? It's close to the inverter, and it's right on my bed. So imagine that. Woo! But obviously can't run it at night time, but I sure as hell can close the place up and get it cool. We're going to try that out to see if I can actually run off the grid air conditioning. Unlike Troy from the Do It By Fraud world, who scammed everybody with his little air conditioning project. Because <laughs> he's not off the grid, never was, never will be. And he's full of shit. <laughs> So stay tuned for the real off the grid project up here in Canada. And uh, we're gonna get some shit actually done with real solar power and not fake trickery behind the camera from Mr. Fraud, Mr. Fraud World. So be back in a bit, going to clean off the washer machine, get it all ready, and then I'll film that for you guys.